Okay, you guys, so uh, what I'm going to do is the next phase on this drawing here. So we have it blocked out in charcoal. Now we just want to refine it. So here we go. I'm going to just work on it and refine it a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Um, I, I could have played this a little faster, but I wanted it to be slow enough that maybe you can still glean, you know, how I'm going about the process. So anyway, we uh, what we have is the lights and darks basically blocked out. And so I'm, what I'm doing is just going in, in each area, trying to refine um, the shapes as I go. I had a lot of erroneous shapes. So don't worry at all about charcoal, just dig in and uh, move things around, erase things up. You may have put some darks down, you go to erase and you can't quite get them all up. Don't worry, like I say, nothing's white. There's some times where you gotta be real careful to preserve some white, but most of the time, don't even worry about it. Okay, and leave some life in the marks on your drawing too. It doesn't have to be like all perfect, right? Uh, as far as marks go, leave some character in it. Um, so I'm reshaping, really working on that shadow. Sometimes shadows seem uh, kind of subordinate, but in the end, if you got a nice object and the shadow's not working, it can just be a huge distraction. And here what I'm doing over and over is trying to get where that joint is on the box lid, where it uh, goes from box to lid. Yeah, where, where I'm working right there. And so I knew I had that way off. So I keep measuring angles of where it should be. I keep moving it. And, uh, you know, whether I get it exactly right, I don't know. You, you can look at it and see if I got it right in the end. But I, but I continue to move it around before I knocked it in really quick, which is pretty, you know, okay. Um, but anyway, so you just want to work areas. Now I'm putting in some dark tones uh, to capture my darkest darks. Um, the reference, you can actually see a little more than what's in the reference on the screen there. Um, and so I'm going to have, you know, a few more shadow uh, sensitivities that, that maybe you can't see in the reference. Um, and reshaping that little guy, the little uh, latch tab or whatever it is. So again, the idea is just look at a section, not necessarily a a physical piece of something. I mean, you can like the lid, but honestly, I never really thought the lid. I just thought, okay, shadow shape inside of that lid, shadow shape or corner at the uh, shape in the corner of it, and things like that. And uh, it's way more important to get your shadow shapes rebuilt and accurate than it is like to get some fine little detail done. Um, right? You want to work on the big things and have those work for you. When I do um, small shapes, especially in dark charcoal, you'll see me there where what I do is overbuild it. Okay, I'll put down too much dark and then come in with the eraser and just, just chisel it back. That's much easier than going in and trying to do teeny, teeny, exact little pushes with the chalk especially if you do the actual chalk on the paper, it's gonna leave some very distinct marks. And if you're not careful, you're gonna leave some really distinct dark lines or chatter that are gonna be distracting from your tones, okay? So in other words, when you do a small area or small detail, um, overbuild the darks and then cut it out with the, with the eraser if you can. And what I mean by if you can is if it fits appropriate. There's some times where you got to tiptoe in and preserve some whites, but but most of the time just uh, go and do that. Now again, just squinting down, looking at tones at the base of the lid at the box. See where I've overbuilt the shadow. And in a minute here, I'll go in and delineate. Yep, right there, delineate that edge. Okay. So I'm not worrying about that edge until it's ready to put it in. Okay. Whether I nailed it or not, I don't know. You can tell me whether it's off or not. I can see some angles that aren't that great. Um, see that little guy right there that I'm working on with my finger? That is an ellipse. That's a circle, one of those circle plastic things you have to cut to open a box. And look at the elliptical half of that circle, right? You should be familiar with that. 
going in here again if you're leaving some eraser marks you know some subtle marks stuff like that don't worry about it and just let it happen if it needs to be super smooth go back in fix it you'll notice when i'm working those detail lines i mean careful not not just go in and just hack out a line i'm doing a very small tone and then i'm moving it and i'm toning it and i'm pushing it around a little bit um, I, again, I don't want it to look like all of a sudden some magical line that appeared out of nowhere um, in all these tones, right? You've got to be careful with small tones, small details, so they don't jump out too hard and too fast. Cleaning up the light around there, the light's more intense down around the box, so I'm cleaning that up a bit. You notice I'm not dealing with the back shadow quite yet, um, but uh, we'll get there. So, yep, I'm just toning it in. Part of that box lid, I want to disappear in that shadow, so I'm just burning right through from shadow to box lid. Make sure that box lid doesn't stand out too much. Okay. So anyway, you guys, that's that's it. You just want to take um, small areas and keep refining them. And the more I look at this, the more I see things that I didn't finish, but uh, or that I don't think I got finished. So that's okay. It's working. It's talking. I can always go back in and push some tone around and refine some shapes and and do things like that so anyway enjoy and uh hopefully this will make sense uh watching this a little bit now i'm just going in darkening up some edges and uh tidying some things up as i go here so anyway good luck to everything you guys and uh here we go Okay, well, so it's basically done, you know, a little more little things I could do, um, but but I like how it looks, it's reading well, uh, I can sit there and check for more lights and darks, in fact, I can push those down while I'm thinking about it. Uh, anyway, just a lot of different things you could do, um, but at some point you want to call it done, and... and uh, be done with it. So anyway, um, so the idea is just keep working the shadow shapes and uh, keep refining them. Every time you do something else to it, make sure you're remeasuring and refining what you're looking at, okay? And I think we'll call it good right there. So anyway, hey, good luck with whether you're doing this or something else you've chosen. Um, if you already did it in pencil, you know, that's fine. Um, just want you to have the experience in charcoal, work in charcoal, but I'm going to be giving you some assignments, um, some draw alongs that won't be for grade. Um, you'll have some assignments also, some homework, but I'll give you some draw alongs also to go with me on that. And, uh, and you'll be able to kind of, you know, work along. I'll show you, you know, more demos like this. So you can test out what you're doing, have some fun with it, you know, as though we're in studio. So anyway, well, thanks for being with me and uh, we'll call it right there. I better stop and uh, good luck with it. Thanks, you guys. Miss you. Have fun and we'll see you later. Draw on.